Naomi's not picking up again. She's stubborn. That's why. She's digging her heels in because you called her out for trusting Alex. I was warning her not to get taken in again. But pointing out her mistakes, Charles, won't help. Now she's even more determined to prove you wrong about Victor. We're not wrong. That's the whole point. <sighs> OK, look, if you don't want the battle, maybe you should do what she's doing, which is give him the benefit of the doubt. You're asking us to trust him again? No. I mean, not straight away, but at least show Naomi that you're willing to let him earn it. How could you even suggest that? You know what happens when you open the door to a monster. It's what you did with Mina. Hey, this is nothing like Mina. You gave her the benefit of the doubt. You should never have trusted her. The minute she got her foot in, she ruined people's lives. And that was my fault. It came back to bite you, Manpreet. Now you're asking me to do the same with my dad. You must be out of your mind. Manpreet. That was uncalled for. Manpreet. I'm sorry that I brought Mina's name up earlier. It was uncalled for. Yeah, it was. I know I lashed out. I just can't bear the thought of giving my dad another inch. Naomi is already forging a relationship with Victor, Charles. If you keep trying to block her, you'll drive her away. What about my mum? If I let him get close, he'll wear her down again. I, I need to protect her too. I get it, OK? You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. But what you're doing now, how's that working out for you? You're asking me to trust him when I already know how this is going to end. <laughs> you can't stop Naomi's relationship with Victor, or Claudette's, for that matter. But at least if you keep them close, you can keep a watchful eye. <laughs>